So now we go to the most ridiculous story of the day, and it revolves around a five-year-old. His name is Cooper Barton. He goes to elementary school in the state of Oklahoma, and his parents went to the University of Michigan. So if you're a Big Ten fan, an Ohio State fan, just hear me out for one moment, and I promise we'll agree at the end of this segment. Cooper Barton went to this school on this one day rocking his big house shirt. His parents went to the University of Michigan, and they told him to turn it inside out because it violates school policy. A report from Oklahoma has the latest. Yeah, the dress code was developed last in 2005 with the help of the gang task force, but changes could come after a five-year-old was told he couldn't wear this t-shirt right here to kindergarten class. About a thousand miles from Oklahoma is Ann Arbor, Michigan, home to the University of Michigan Wolverines, Big Blue. It's a religious experience when you walk into the big house. It's it's amazing. The big house is the name for the stadium that Shannon Barton loves to talk about. She bleeds maize and blue, and so do her kids. They love it. They're proud. But when five-year-old Cooper wore his big house t-shirt to kindergarten class at Wilson Elementary last week, he got the Heisman. He told me that they had made him turn it inside out because it said Michigan. He was a little embarrassed. No, the principal at Wilson did not go to Ohio State. Instead, it's Oklahoma City public school policy that students can't wear clothing displaying any school unless it's OU, OSU, or another school in the state. It wasn't offensive. It, you know, he's five. But no matter the age, the dress code, which was last developed in 2005 and is posted in the lobby of the school administration offices, says no to pro gear as well. Thunder up. Forget about it. When I talked to the superintendent about it today, he had some absolute concern about it and thinks that it may be a little outdated. Until there is a change, this five-year-old will wait for a new shipment of Wolverine pens and paper to bring to class. But the clothes, much to the disappointment of mom, stay at home. They should really worry about the academics part. And the school district says this incident now gives it a chance to review and update the current dress code policy. Carl Torp, News 9 quite the story, Carl. All right. We checked around the metro and found that no other school districts ban college or pro clothing. Okay, so where to start with this? Firstly, the school policy says that you cannot, and I'm just highlighting the video you just saw, you cannot wear a university's apparel if it's outside of the state of Oklahoma. I completely agree with, the, with what the mom said. Granted, this is her son. I still agree with it. He's not my son saying they should focus on the academics. Completely agree with her. Kudos to her. And also, it doesn't matter the age, and also, you are not allowed to wear any professional sports gear. So when the Oklahoma City Thunder were in the playoffs, you couldn't wear your Thunder Up t-shirt or the Oklahoma City logo on a t-shirt or shorts or what have you. That is completely absurd and ridiculous. And I love how I, I do not know her name, but how she said, it might be a little outdated. You think? Maybe this is a time to realize that you're not going to brainwash these kids into thinking that they can only support Oklahoma schools. Come on, man. This should be the come on, man segment. Come on, man. So I want to hear your thoughts on all this. You can tweet those at me at Rick Strom. You can also follow me on there. Our Facebook page is in the description below. Leave your comments in the comments section below. Don't be afraid to tweet, like, and share this video. And also, please do us a favor, guys. Support what we're doing here and subscribe to TYT Sports.